The best tablet for your needs can be tricky to find, whether you're looking to outfit the kids with cheap, durable tablets for school, or just want a beautiful second screen to keep near the couch. To help you decide which tablet is right for you, we test all of the top devices in our lab and in the real world. In general, Amazon tablets are great for kids and anyone on a tight budget. iPads are best for students and creative pros, especially with the M1 chip and improved displays in Apple's iPad Pro 2021. In this video, we are going to discuss the top 10 best tablets of 2022. But before starting the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. iPad Pro 2021 12.9 inch The best got better this year, as Apple dropped its super powerful M1 chip inside the already mighty iPad Pro 2021. That chip sets new tablet records in Geekbench and Adobe Premiere Rush continuing Apple's tradition of putting tons of brawn in its sleek tablets. And this 12.9-inch model benefits from Apple's Liquid Retina XDR display, which offers much higher brightness, up to 1588 nits. Also, Apple's got a new video conferencing trick called Center Stage, where the camera tracks and follows you as you move during calls. Oh, and the basics are still stellar. Its quad speaker setup booms, its optional Magic Keyboard offers a comfortable typing experience, and its battery life is better than last year's, lasting hours longer than the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. That said, the super bright XDR display needs HDR content to thrive, and that's not always available, as the likes of Hulu and HBO Max have yet to adopt it. Also, the 12.9-inch iPad Pro 2021 is more expensive than the MacBook Air and heavier when docked with its magic keyboard. But still, the iPad Pro 2021 is worth it for creative pros who want the best tablet for their next masterpiece. Number 9. iPad Pro 2021 11-inch The 12.9-inch iPad Pro may have the better screen, but the 11-inch iPad Pro is arguably better for more people. Not only is its battery life fantastic, but it's lighter and fits better with last year's magic keyboard. Plus, it's $300 less expensive. On top of that, you get the astonishing speed of the Apple M1 chip, which is maybe too powerful for most tablet apps, but they call it the iPad Pro for a reason. This is made for the folks using demanding video and image editing apps. Of course, the 11-inch iPad Pro 2021 still thrives at the little things. Its bright and colorful display is sharp. Its four speakers provide much larger sound than you might expect from such a thin device, and, and if you're willing to pony up the cash, it's amazing, optional. Magic Keyboard offers the simplest and smoothest tablet typing experience there is. Number 8. iPad Mini 6 2021 Take almost everything we know and love about the iPad Air, but shrink it down to a size and weight that's super easy to use with just one hand, and you have the iPad Mini 6. 2021, which may be the iPad you've been waiting for. It has the Apple Pencil 2 support with the flat-edged design, the much smaller bezels, and nearly everything else we love about an iPad. Currently, Amazon has the market cornered on sub-10-inch tablets with the pricing of its fire slates, but the new iPad Mini gives quality-focused folks an alternative worth investing in. On top of that, you've got the super-fast A15 Bionic system on chip, which outpaces the iPad Air and every non-pro iPad out there. Its display is also super bright, over 500 nits of brightness, plus surprisingly good sound for a device this small. Oh, and speaking of outperforming its size, the iPad Mini 6 has terrific battery life. The only thing that isn't small about the iPad Mini 6? Its $499 price tag is a bit higher than the normal iPad, but it's another case of you get what you pay for. Number 7. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Android fans finally have a true iPad competitor at a much more affordable price, retailing for $229, and on sale often for much less. The Galaxy Tab A7 is a great 10.4-inch tablet for consuming content. Whether you're browsing the web or streaming movies, you get to focus on your content more thanks to its super-thin bezels that are thinner than what you get with Apple's $329 iPad facial recognition to unlock the device. And just like Apple's prissier tablets, 
The Galaxy Tab A7 charges over USB-C, so you can continue to cut non-reversible micro-USB cables out of your life. And while it's not as fast as the iPad and its screen isn't as bright, neither is a serious problem at this price. Especially when Samsung gives you true Android with the Google Play App Store and not the watered-down Amazon Fire tablet experience. Number 6. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, $1,099, is the first tablet that casts a literal shadow over the iPad Pro. With its ginormous 14.6-inch OLED display, this Android slate makes the 12.9-inch iPad Pro seem cute by comparison. And with the optional keyboard attachment and improved multi-window mode, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra could potentially replace a laptop. Samsung is clearly targeting hybrid and at-home workers with the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra, as it packs dual front cameras with support up to 4K resolution for video calls, as well as auto-framing for keeping you in the frame as you move around. Plus, there's advanced noise reduction to make sure you come through loud and clear. Other highlights of the Tab S8 Ultra include a fast Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip, a low-latency S Pen experience, 45 GLU fast charging, and improved integration with Galaxy S series phones. At $1,099, the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra commands a heck of a premium, but it delivers an intoxicating blend of size, speed, and versatility that makes it one of the best Android tablets on the market. Number 5. Microsoft Surface Go 2. Sometimes, it takes a second try to make a thing go right. The Surface Go 2 takes aim at all the flaws of the predecessor and knocks them all down. First of all, thinner bezels make way for a bigger screen, arguably the most important part of a tablet. The Surface Go 2 has a 10.5-inch display, compared to 10 inches for the previous model. The biggest upgrade is the Surface Go 2's 11 hours and 39 minutes of battery life, which is over 5 hours longer than the original Surface Go. Microsoft also answered my prayers for a laptop with a great webcam. The 5-megapixel 1080p camera in its top bezel is great for the era of online video calls, and its second front camera sensor adds Windows Hello biometric login. Finally, get the Surface Go 2 with the 8th Gen Intel Core M3 upgrade. It's a little pricier at $629 but it's definitely the model for multitaskers. Number 4. Amazon Fire 7. For a lot of customers, price makes the big difference, so Amazon could have coasted when it comes to the $50 Fire 7 tablet. Fortunately, the most recent iteration of the company's cheapest slate packs a snappy quad-core 1.3 GHz processor, which helps you navigate apps and browse the web faster than you'd expect from a tablet this cheap. And while previous Fire tablets made you tap to activate Alexa, which made no sense, it's meant to be summoned with your voice. The Fire 7 finally added voice triggers for the digital assistant. Just don't expect any frills that come with more expensive tablets. The Fire 7 tablet's sub-HD screen is not sharp enough for anyone used to an iPad, and its lock screen is filled with ads unless you pay extra. Still. It's a great pick for kids looking for a media consumption device. Number 3. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 The Galaxy Tab S8 is good at a lot of things, but it's best at being a premium Android tablet. You can use it to get work done in a pinch, but in my experience it's best enjoyed as a speedy all-purpose device for making work and play a bit more enjoyable. On the couch it's great for gaming or reading comics. And at work it's nice to have as a note-keeping device or secondary display, especially if you go to the trouble of investing in the Galaxy ecosystem and making your workspace DeX-friendly. If you absolutely must have the biggest, baddest Android slate possible, you probably want the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. But if you just need a great premium Android tablet, the Galaxy Tab S8 delivers, and in the process, sets a new standard for what we should expect from the category. Number 2 iPad 2022, 10th Gen The iPad 2022 is a tablet that looks and feels new, and that's a welcome change over the last few iterations. We appreciate the sleeker design and bigger display, though some may miss the headphone jack from the 9th Gen iPad. We also like the Touch ID-enabled power button, 
reposition front camera and USB-C charging, as well as the upgraded A14 Bionic chip and 5G connectivity. However, $449 is a lot of money to spend on this tablet. Yes, Apple is keeping the $329 iPad 9th gen around, but it still stings to see a $120 jump from one generation to the next. Our bigger issue is with the Apple Pencil situation. It's just way too awkward to charge this thing, and there's nowhere to store the stylus when not in use. Do we think the iPad 2022 is worth the splurge over last year's model? Mostly, as this is a more future-proof tablet. Overall, the iPad 10th Gen is one of the best tablets, but we can't unequivocally say that it's the best tablet for most people because of the higher price and Apple Pencil blunder. Number 1. Apple iPad Air 2022 As great as the iPad Air 4 is, the iPad Air 5 has replaced it. It hits a sweet spot between portability and power. The new iPad Air 2022 is ideal for consuming and creating content, and its $599 starting price is within reach for many people. Thanks to the addition of M1, the iPad Air 2022 is almost on par with the iPad Pro. That isn't to say the Air is now a Pro replacement, but the gap in power is considerably smaller. This, along with its relatively affordable starting price, could make this new iPad Air more compelling than the iPad Pro for budget-minded shoppers who still want the best iPad their money can buy. Overall, the latest iPad Air is an almost perfect tablet. While there's still some room for improvement, it's hard to put this sleek, powerful slate down. This is arguably the best tablet for most people. We have come to the end of today's video. Do you agree with our top 10 list? Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video.